Well, hello guys, and welcome back to FNAF World. In this episode, we'll be checking out the Drowning Ending. Now, this is an expansion upon the uh, Four Layers Deep Ending, so we've got to head back to the Fourth Layer Deep. So, if I remember how to do this correctly... Oh, it's over there. I was going to say, where is it? No, uh, let's just, we'll wait and get there. You'll see, you'll, hopefully you, you see, I, I've had to, this is the second time I've had to record this, because reasons, and the first time, I completely forgot how to get four layers deep. I could not remember for the life of me how to do it. So now, here we are, four layers deep, and now it's called the drowning ending, because remember Old Man Consequences? Well, we can now drown in his pool. Or in his little lake. Keep, uh, you want to walk into the thing while hitting left and right. And then just keep hitting left and right as you fall down into the pool. And then it'll do this. We basically just, we drowned ourselves. And now we have to wait for, like, two minutes. It's... It's really like weird just like look at it like just, it's like flashing down continuously going never stopping for all of eternity fall asleep but no this is this is definitely an interesting ending let's we just gotta wait have to wait. Oh my gosh. Can you believe we're almost done? And in the next episode, we'll be tackling the ending. To Well, ending, quote unquote. Y y'all, y'all see, y'all see. Wait for it. Oh, I can hear nature outside. I can hear birds chirping. Birds. <laughs> Boom. Here we go. Now, it's guy in the middle, two people next to him, and it's a glowing screen. Now, from what I understand, there's... I, there's probably a correct interpretation, but this is probably one of the most cryptic endings in the game. From what I know, this is supposed to represent Scott and his, and each of the figures off to his side are supposed to be his kids. That's what I get, because from what I've heard, Scott, well, he has three kids now. One of them's only like a few months. But that's what this is supposed to represent, him and his two kids. There's a lot going on here. It really is interesting. Why it's found through drowning the character? I don't know. That's an interesting way. It can be like, oh, by killing Fazbear, is it setting Scott free? Has this taken away time from spending with him, from spending time with his kids? It's a very interesting and serious ending for a game that I don't think was meant to be taken that seriously in the first place. I don't know. There's a lot of things going on. We'll, we'll kind of get into how seriously this game will be taken in the next few episodes. But yeah, that's the drowning ending. I hope you guys enjoyed, and stay tuned next time. Until then.